Now then, new squad community manager. Make sure he doesn't know anything about Para. Make sure there's no connection with Para. You know the people in the people in the know know what I'm talking about. So. Fuck you. Anyway, where have you been, Uncle Para? Well, I've been I've been over here and I've been over there and I've been everywhere. Been a little bit busy, and if I'm truly, truly honest, I've kind of lost a little bit of interest in gaming. Cheeky temperature. Thermometer up the backside. Up the council gritter. I don't know, I just kind of... You know when you get into games and you have a little bit of a flat line? That's kind of like where I was for a little bit. Been enjoying um, Unknown Battlegrounds as well. It's really quite cool. And yes, I won the chicken dinner. Even though I'm veggie, I won the fucking chicken dinner. I want a little bit more of a celebration in game than that, if I can, please, with a croaky voice. Anyway, this video really is to... In case any of you haven't been following Postscriptum, it's fantastic. <laughs> Graphics are amazing. Um, as you may know, I was lucky enough to be in testing, so there's a lot of things I can't say under NDA, but there are also some things I can say. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. If you love World War II, along with uh, a certain other game, which I'll talk about, and this video is really about Postscriptum, you're going to love it. The graphics, there's a couple of levels in there, well, one of them in particular that we did on testing, and there's a certain area with, with, with rows of flowers and... Uh, oh, it looks beautiful, and when you see the tanks just come out of the hedgerows, amazing. So, if you didn't know, they've actually released two videos now, a few days ago. So, I've got a few subscribers now, so I thought, you know what? You guys may not have even seen this, you may didn't even know that the new trailer was out. So, here it is. I'm going to put it on after this little bit of waffle. There's actually two videos, um, whether I'll put the second one up, uh, we'll see. The second one's more an in-depth look at one of the game modes. Which is completely different to Squad. Even though they're, they're, they are related to Squad, it is kind of its own game. And the, the video does actually explain that. And you'll get to see some of the assets and things like that. But believe you me, as you, as you well know, I love the MGs and the big guns and things like that. Oh, you're compensating. Yeah, because my knob is massive. Fuck only fucking idiots say that. I like the boomity boom. I like the RPGs and shit like that that goes bang and boom. So anyway... Uh, following is the new trailer from Postscriptum. Keep your eyes on this. I will be covering this game exclusively, extensively, should I say, on this channel. So I will be showing you weapons, vehicles, sounds, maps, assets, models, the shebang. And I'm also probably going to be doing a quick interview with Scrub and some of the devs at some point. And a little looky behind the curtain when we're allowed to look behind the curtain. Anyway, I'll shut up waffling because you're here to look at the footage. Here it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, like, and all that fucking wank. And if you click on the bell end on the homepage, you'll get a big fuck you. Every time I put a video up, you can find me and you'll see what bullshit I'm waffling on about. I shall see you on the battlefield. I need a fucking coffee. See you later. Bye bye. From the people behind Project Reality World War II and Liberty's Highway is born Periscope Games Studio. A group of individuals with one common ambition, creating the next standard in the World War II large-scale battle platform, Post Scriptum. Focusing on historical accuracy, you will relive the events of Operation Market Garden across the fields and towns of the Netherlands, with the environment recreated at a one-to-one -one scale, based on military archives, maps and aerial pictures gathered by our Dutch military historian. You will be given the unique chance to fight with the British 1st Airborne Division and its Polish Brigade, the British 30 Corps and several branches of the German Army, such as the Wehrmacht and the Waffen-SS. It's a rare opportunity to experience the intense battlefield of the Battle of Arnhem as you stretch your way toward the bridge from fields, across farms, woods and villages. In a 50 versus 50 player setting, you will have at your disposal more than 40 weapons and 50 vehicles accurately remodeled, including cars, transport trucks, anti-tank guns, armored recon, artillery and tanks. With an intense need for cohesion, communication and teamwork, 
You will have to make use of our integrated VOIP system, call in logistics capable of towing field guns and supplies to reinforce the front line, or request an artillery barrage and or air support at a designated location. By following a chain of command, you will have a chance to see action in one of our five faithfully recreated historical maps of Arnhem and its western vicinity for a total playable area of 140 square kilometers, including the villages of Hilsum, Dorworth, Rial, Osterbeck, and our 8x8 kilometer map of Arnhem with its famous bridge too far, where the 30 Corps will try to link up with the trapped 1st Airborne Division north of the bridge at all cost. Postscriptum will introduce you to two new exclusive game modes, Stratagem and Offensive. In addition, we want to provide a new game mode called Sandbox to the dedicated community out there who always seek the most realistic gaming experience. You will be given the opportunity to create your own rules directly in-game and on any of our maps or community-made maps. A game master will be able to spawn different entities from the game within the flexible framework. They will then be able to create their own objectives based on mission templates available such as free roam, escort the tank, destroy the bridge, capture the area, resupply the area, link up with the division, and an infinite amount of other combinations. Postscriptum will be made available to the entire community with our development kit for you to add content, new game modes and maps. Whether you're jumping out of a plane, commanding a platoon, resupplying friendlies or operating a tank, you'll find many reasons to drop back into the action in this grand scale and historical representation of World War II. Do you have what it takes to get to the bloody seventh? Or will Arnhem be a bridge too far? Join the front line and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for further updates.